Hello, hello, welcome in a new video where I'll be playing Not Over Allowed Crystal Cave on Insane Difficulty. And insane and not nightmare or ruthless, just insane because insane is. Well, I usually never play on insane, but this map is one of the few maps that playing on insane difficulty is better than playing on nightmare or ruthless. Why? Because. Well, if you don't know about it, the map drops armor, only armor. And you can get plus plus armor from Ruthless and Nightmare, but also from Insane. And you can get kinda as good ar plus plus armor on Insane that you are playing on Nightmare or Ruthless. It's that really there is no big difference. So it's worth playing on Insane. And on insane, if you play with four split, you will get one plus plus every twenty runs, on average. But if you play on nightmare, if with four splits, it becomes one out of twelve runs for a plus plus. So the only difference is the odds to get a plus plus. And as you can see, it's not a big difference. Nightmare is a lot harder than insane and. Insane, you can play AFK, like really AFK. Uh, I will show you that in this small quiet video. Um, for this video, um, so for this video, I am using four characters. I am using uh, Antress. Um, pay attention that I'm using my best gear, but you really don't need crazy stats to complete the map. I will show you in a moment. Uh, you need a forest rifle and on your interest you can use any pets you want just you can use your best dps pet it can be an, a sea drag or something else uh, for your monk well it's a classic monk you can use a little wizard if you have one or a snowman if you don't have a little wizard one of the two because uh, you well they are good pets to kill a lot of mobs, uh, uh, grouped mobs, so I suggest you to at least use one little wizard or one snowman for your run, and you could use also, uh, you will also need a DPS mischief maker, if you have a, dot, a DPS mischief maker it's not a big deal, um, but you will need one elemental uh, DPS pet or weapon to kill the genie king. Because the Genie King has generic resistance, so you need. Uh, that's why you need such a weapon. And then you can use two summoners. On your summoners, you can take a cat on one and a fairy or any healing pet like a Desert Goblin or a Cupid from Rover's Paradise. And you don't need crazy gear. Uh, you can just use the, these two. Uh, pets and you can use another summon summoner and here I'm taking another uh, uh, cupid also for healing and DPS and the DST but you don't need the exact same pet, same pet as I use you could use a mini kraken for DPS or a mini wasp queen or you could use a jade serpent or a white mage well with little wizard or you could use a fluffy dragon as well uh, but not for the Kraken boss because Fluffy Dragon for Kraken is really bad. So you could use something else like Sea Drag, Mini Wasp Queen, something that could help you to kill the boss uh, more easily. Uh, so yeah, um, and you could use here. I'm using my Sea Dragon, my Untress, but you could use something else or on your. Uh, on your interest like a DST or a lover's cupid it's not very important but using the pet I'm showing you is uh, a good combo so the video will be very easy to record and show you because all you have to do as I said is stand AFK and you can just make a circle with your four characters around that crystal and you 
can just wait until the end of the wave. And this will be like that for every wave. I, you don't even have to kill the demon lord. They will die by themselves. And as you can see, I, I am not even hero boosting. Um, so, even if you have a lot lower stats than I have, you could just hero boost. And it will make the map a lot easier for you. But here I don't even have to hero boost, and even for um, the Kraken boss wave, you won't have to hero boost. As I said, you just stand AFK here, and you let your characters kill everything. The only different, um, the only exception is the Goblin Mech that spawn from all around the map and shoot rockets at you. Um, they are not dangerous, but um, they have a lot of resistance, and you have to. That's why I suggest you to use a forest rifle. Because with your interest, you could just stand here on your crystal and shoot at them to kill them. Because your pets won't kill them. Well, a DSD pet could kill them, but uh, it would take ages to right to kill them that way. The last one is always taking a moment to spawn. So that's the map. Um, all the wave will be more or less the same. Um, yep. Yeah. Besides for the Jenny King and maybe the mini Spider Queen, but well, you could have K F all of that. Besides the Jenny King, for the Jenny King, you will have to kill him with. An elemental weapon. I will show you on the next wave. The mini spider queen, you don't even have to kill them. As you can see, it will come closer to you, and it could come close, and the pets and characters will kill, will kill it by themselves. So the map is very easy, and if you have lower stats and well, a lot lower stats than I have, as, you, as I said, you, ca you could just hero boost and still stand AFK, and it would be the same. And well, I know that some a lot of people are farming this map on insane or maybe nightmare, but mostly insane because it's a lot easier because it maybe the easiest way to get armor. So for the Genie King, it spawns like that uh, on this way. And as you can see, you could, with your monk, simply shoot at it with your mischief maker. And it will die very easily that way. You don't even have to come close to him. You just let your mischief maker uh, do the do the job the, do the job for you. And it's already the last wave. And yeah, I said that a lot of people are farming this. And you could, if you have multiple accounts. Uh, well, play this map, farm this map with multiple accounts. Uh, I tried to farm this map with multiple accounts, but 
Um, I gave up after like two hours because it's well in the end it's not well you can get some plus plus armor if you are lucky but I I don't know I I find this map very boring and I prefer if I have multiple accounts just farm lovers paradise and. Yeah, just Lover's Paradise. Because this map, even if it's AFK most of the time, you still have to shoot at the Goblin Mech. And so you have to, if you play with multiple accounts, you have to shoot them with multiple accounts. And, and it's, well, even if it's AFK, it's not as AFK as a Lover's Paradise or any armor farming map, if you get what I mean. And so, the Kraken and you don't also don't have to hero boost for the Kraken. Well, you could, but I can just stand here AFK, and usually, most of the time, the pets will kill the Kraken by themselves. Your hero can die, but it's okay because usually, as you see, the Kraken will die. Well, I have good hero and stats, so that's that may be it. Helpful. That's why I, I don't even have to hero boost. But if you hero boost, the Kraken will die instantly. And so at the end of the map, you can get some ultimate armor, and if you're lucky, plus plus armor. And this by just standing AFK most of the time. So that wasn't it. A very uh, short video guide about this map. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope this will help you to farm some plus plus armor and see you for an, uh, another video.